Inspired by inclusion, methods for inclusive non-formal education. Welcome to this tutorial of a method called bridge building. In this method, the group is divided in teams and is given the task to build a bridge from certain craft materials. Each team has to build one part of the bridge in a limited time. The teams can only talk to each other during designated conferences and each group must use an assigned vocabulary of code words. At the end, they will connect the bridge parts and test if a toy car can drive over it. This activity is about communication strategies and teamwork which will be reflected after the bridge building process. This method is suitable for groups from 9 up to 25 participants. The participants will work in small teams with 3 to 5 people each. We'll show you how the method works with 3 teams. If your group is bigger, make more teams. The activity lasts about 150 minutes. You will need craft materials like paper, tape, straws, cardboard tubes, wooden skewers and clothes pegs. In addition, you will need a toy car, a flip chart paper, pens, envelopes with code words and printed self-reflection sheets. Inclusion Hint Choose the materials according to your participants, for example larger objects for people with motoric disabilities. Make sure the room is accessible for wheelchairs. Encourage participants to contribute their unique skills to solve the task as a group. If you know what your participants need, you can break down barriers. Communication plays an important role in this method, so think in advance if you need a translator or a sign language interpreter. More about this method by our trainer Carlos. Preparation. If possible, provide room for each group. If not, use a room divider and make sure that the groups cannot talk to each other. Each group needs one table with enough chairs. Divide the building materials into equal quantities and place them on the table. Prepare an envelope with code word for each team. Example, team A has to say yes if they mean no. Team B has to say paper if they mean straw. The participants have to use these code words later on the communication with the other team. Implementation. To begin, introduce the group of the topic of communication. You can do brainstorming with questions like, why is communication important? Why can it be challenging? And so on. Give participants an overview of each step and divide them in small groups. Explain to the teams that they only have a limited time for each phase in the activity. This is important for communication strategy. If the participants get to stress, just give them a little bit more of time. The sixth phase of bridge building. First phase, the small groups sit down at the tables. They have some time to check the materials they got. Separated from each other, they think about how they want to build a part of the bridge using the materials they have. Give each team the envelope with their code words. Second phase. Each team nominates two delegates who take part in a conference. Only one of the two delegates may speak, the other only listens. Call the delegate for the conference. Now they have to discuss how the parts of the bridge should be built, the materials, the length, etc. And how all the parts should be put together at the end. Remind the delegates they always have to use the code words given to them. They will confront them with communication problems. Third phase. Back at their teams, each team starts building the part of the bridge. Fourth phase. In a second conference, two new delegates from each team come together. They discuss the questions they have arisen, most likely they forgot to ask something. Fifth phase. The teams continue building their part of the bridge. Sixth phase. At the end, all participants come together and connect the part of the bridge. Does it fit? Now the test. Will the toy car cross the bridge? Yes, they made it. Debriefing. In the debriefing, you reflect on the process and how the group communicated with each other. You can start with the self-reflection and continue with the group discussion. This should make them aware of how they communicated and what their communications needs are. 
You can ask questions like, what is important to me in communication? And what should I consider in an intercultural setting? Afterwards, you can set up working and communication hints. Have in mind what your participants need and keep them in off breaks. The reflection requires a high level of concentration and attentive listening. Thank you for watching. On the description box, you will find links and support material to implement this method. Get inspired by inclusion. Inspired by Inclusion is a project by the following partner organizations. Weltwegweiser, Grenzenlos, Invia, Bitsef and Neosapiens. It is co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union and by ADA, the Austrian Development Corporation.